Uh, hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry for the absence on YouTube. Be honest with you, i just kind of been putting this one off. There's, there's no good way or right way to even start this, so um, I guess we'll just delve right into it here. And uh, whew, this is not how I pictured any of this happening, guys, really. Um, <laughs> when I started this puppy journey six weeks ago, I thought I had this crazy amount of love and time and patience to give a puppy, and I thought this was finally my chance to try something new, and uh, there have been trials and tribulations. There have been disasters. It has been an incredible learning curve, and I have mad respect for anyone who's ever raised a puppy, especially if you've done it in a tiny little 180 square foot space like an RV that already has two kitties in it. And um, um, I severely underestimated the amount of work that this was going to take. Um, I thought we were making progress a couple times, but however, it is just, it has got to the point where it was too much. It was, it was too much. I, I love, I love the quiet snuggle times that I get with Tig. However, I am I am not able to really leave the RV or ever really even leave him. It, it's different right now because you know I don't have somebody else. I don't have a couple kids that can keep him entertained and bring, and you know get some of that energy off, or someone else that can watch him while I can do a couple projects from this shed to that shed. Um, I've been cleaning up a lot of messes lately. It has been, it has not been fun. It's not been fun. Puppyhood for me has not been fun. And. Um, it's not something that's easily reversible. I mean, you, you take on a pet, you take on a lifetime with this pet. However, at this point, I have found a new home for Tig. He is going to be happier with a bigger yard, with more people to interact with, not stuck in a constrained space, and uh, Tig will no longer be traveling with us here on the road any longer in the meantime. However, you may still see Tig on my channel. We may go visit him. I may share some pictures and updates uh, with the new owners of Tig. But um, uh, this is a it's a hard pill to swallow. And uh, I have to think that going into this, I was probably a little selfish. A little selfish thinking that I can undertake this. And now I've got to a point where I'm being selfless. And I, I simply want the best for Tig. He deserves the best. He deserves the attention that he needs. And um, I have done the best thing for him. Um, and, and also, I don't know. That This doesn't feel good. None of this feels good. Um, I'm just going to let you know, though, before you start typing away on your little keyboard there and saying something nasty, don't. Don't do it, guys. Not in this place. This is not where you do it. I have zero tolerance right now. So you're either on my side and Tig's side, or you are flat out against us. Do not be nasty on this channel. I will remove you. I will report you to YouTube. You will lose your ability to comment on this channel. And uh, I will not tolerate any kind of hate on this channel moving forward. Okay? So hopefully you can understand and support me and the kitties and the RV as we move forward. Um, it has been, uh, it's been a tricky few days. It's been a complicated, tricky few days here behind the scenes. And you guys just don't know everything that's going on in my life. Okay? Alright, in the future as we move forward. Because um, I am packing up to hit the road. It's just too darn hot. Uh, but in the future, if there are any other comments... Uh, uh, feel free to answer those questions. I do not want to continue to answer questions for the next week. I, I probably just don't have time, so feel free to say it, but uh, do so in a respectful way. Uh, don't put words into my mouth. And um, again, this is just for the best of TIG to, to find something better in life than what I could offer him. I, I simply could not. I, I could not give that dog what he really needed. And uh, it's a failure. It is. I have I have failures just like you guys do. Uh, I make mistakes. I, I thought I'd planned this out really well in my head, but I, I did not. Um, so I'm humble enough here on my channel to at least say that I made a mistake. 
Now, bringing in a dog, a puppy into my life was something that is not currently possible right now. I'm not saying I, something may change later on with a smaller dog or an older dog or something like that. But, um, just had to get this off my chest and share it with you. Um, be respectful, be kind. I love you all. Opie and Tara and I will see you soon, very, very soon, as we finish up the last few things here at camp to hit the road. We're going to hit the road, guys. Be well. I'll talk to you guys on Monday. Bye-bye.